Five rules to improve all of your tricks. Three, break down one trick into four faces. Three, in the air. It's the main part of showing your performance. This part also be divided into two faces. Before peak point. After peak point. What you can do in the first pace by the peak point is to control balance. If it was perfect for takeoff, balance in this first face will be easy. But takeoff is not always perfect, so you should focus on controlling balance before peak point. Then, the second face, the peak to landing will be easy to show your style. If you don't know this fact and try grabbing right after takeoff, you will be out of control and won't be able to have a clean landing. Now let's talk about the second face, from the peak point to the landing. Your body axis must be straight at the peak point. You can land with this straight axis, but to land more clearly, try adjusting your body 90 degrees to the landing angle. You must understand the landing angle before adjusting your body with finding the landing point as soon as possible after peak point. The more you look at the landing, the cleaner your landing will be. Your body will adjust its axis by itself by looking at the landing. Your eyes look at the landing, then your head will lean forward, then your upper body will lean forward too. So your board finally can adjust its base to the landing. Remember, how quickly you can find the landing will be a result of how cleanly you can land. You also want to understand where you are while spinning. It depends on the size of jump and speed, but try seeing 2 to 3 meters away from your spin axis while you are spinning. Then you can see your bottom and around, so it could be easy to control. Also, to keep spinning, keep rotating your shoulders and hips slightly ahead of your board. To stop spinning, stop rotating your shoulders and hips and let the board get ahead of them. Then the spin will lose speed or stop. But remember that the last move to stop spinning must be applied in the last 90 degrees. If you add this move at the last 180, your spin might stop before landing, which means too early. To land safely, try to adjust your board straight downhill in the last 90 degrees. 4. Landing It's the last face to complete the tricks, but it's also the face that people don't think much of. Because people think if the takeoff was good, then the landing will automatically be good as well. That's sometimes right. But I've seen some students that can't land even if their takeoff is good. The reason is because they didn't have an actual landing image. So after they take off the lip, they don't control their tricks because of poor visualization. Picturing a strong landing makes all processes smooth in many cases. So visualize a strong trick flow with a landing image before you go. Most trick tip videos say to bend your knees to absorb landing impact. Yes, it's true, but not enough to get a strong landing. Actually, your legs bend naturally when you land, so you don't need to concentrate on bending your knees. If you bend your knees on purpose, you rather will be squashed by impact. What I teach to students is to stand up strong right after your feet touch the ground. Then we can create more pressure to get a stronger base. Landing is also the start for the next trick. So stand up and look in the direction you need to quickly. Aiming to land on both feet is right, but if the landing is bumpy, slushy, and flat, even if you land on both feet perfectly, you might fall too forward due to snow condition. What good riders do for landing is landing slightly on their back foot. 
The weight on each foot is about 30% on the front and 70% on the back foot. It doesn't mean you're leaning back. Your hips are on the back foot, but your head is on the center of the board. So you'll be standing strong against unexpected impacts from the front, and you won't lean on the tail. Want to learn more with us and want more challenges? Watch all video tutorials that are only available on our website. You will get more of the world's best theories to solve your problem and boost your snowboarding skills. Get the world's best coaching methods based on the coaching of national level athletes. Boost your snowboard intelligence with us. Snowboard Dojo Wiz, an expert coaching intermediate snowboarders.